had to stand up to the big money interest, Wall right. Street, corporate America, corporate. that exerts so much okay, power. Right, the long over. goes, core, 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 core. So long goes, corporate America, with a K. Corporate America. I gotta practice that tonight in the mirror. Instead of saying corporate, you say like coughing. Corporate America. To exert so much power over in the O's, is long O's. That's that's seltzer. That's the carbon dioxide. It does something to the medulla region of the brain, which controls the O's. <laughs> it controls it controls the O's. It does. Too much CO two controls the O's. George W A B C. What's on your mind, George? Yes, Michael. I think you're looking for a word. It's the era of the Ghanaf. Right, that, that's like a profound statement. What is the era of the Ghanaf? Well, you were referring to Bernie Madoff and people of his ilk. All right. The uh, Ghanaf means what in Jewish? Thief? Thief, scoundrel, scallywag, lowlife. Take your yeah, but that would, it wouldn't be limited to Bernie uh, Madoff. No, we could say it's really... I would say that what Bernie Madoff did, a $50 billion scam, was bad enough, but Obama's pulling a couple of trillion dollar scam. And it applies to him, too. So it's not due to race or religion. It's due to the idiots in the country that permit it to go on. That's all. Next case. Bring it before the judge. WABC, another one from New York. Dave, oh, speak or forever hold your peace. Sorry about that, sir. Um... Don't you think we're making the same mistake that we did in 2008? Obama came out of completely nowhere, and he just swept over the nation, and Hillary missed out her moment. There are tons of people in New Hampshire, New Jersey, sadly, where I live, where all these people are flocking to Bernie Sanders because they believe everything that comes out of his mouth. And I just think by overlooking him, the Republicans, conservatives, whatever you want to call it, are making a great mistake. And I so are you a, are you a supporter of, of uh, the Professor Sanders? No, I am not. What are his policies, actually? What are they? You've never heard it before? It's something new? Well, no. I know that there are Marxist uh, policies based on you know socialism. Yeah, there you go. So when the people actually evaluate, do they want higher taxes? Do they want more red tape? Do they want more regulation? Do they want more people arrested for uh, insensitive talk? Do they want the, the military pulled out of every military engagement in the world? Do they want the, the police disarmed? I don't think that's going to sell, by the way. I'm not afraid of Bernie Sanders. In fact, I want Bernie to go, baby, Bur go. I'd love to see him be the candidate against Donald Trump. That's an 85-15 job. All right, <clears throat> when I come back, all this and more right here on the Savage Nation. Be here or be nowhere. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Hey, our Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust for wealth insurance, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. When I'm, when I'm elected president... There's going to be no borders at all. I'm going to eliminate everyone in the, in the border patrol area. They're going to be reassigned to water resources. Uh, language? No language. Uh, English will be banned in America. Because most people can't speak it right like I do. And we're going to take in all the Syrian refugees that want to come here. Because we're a humanitarian nation based upon goodness. I want all the Mexicans and Hondurans that want to come in to come in. Uh, the only people that need to go are the white people. That's what I want. That's my, my vision for a fairer, kinder, non-racist America. Uh, and the animals also, when you think about the chimps. The chimps are mistreated, more so than people. So uh, when I'm president, we're definitely going to have a chimp party. They'll have representation in my cabinet where no more will they have to be uh, marginalized and laughed at like uh, they're, they're just animals. The only people that I don't really have any faith in are the ones who built the country, because let's face it, this, uh, this nation was built on racism. Sharon, WMAL, welcome to the Savage Nation. What's on your mind? 
Thank you, Dr. Savage. This is so hilarious. Um, and it's great on this Blue Monday. We need something to keep us um, sane. Yeah, yeah, no, I got some. I'm on a new shtick. It's the Bernie imitation. I'm going to run with it. Oh, I, I don't. I, I'm, I'm working on it. It's the first day I've done Bernie really. I really uh, applied myself to it. He's, it's the Sanders. It's going to be the Sanders imitation contest. Maybe we can run a contest on the show tomorrow. People can rehearse it. There's got to be people from New York who are rehearsing it. Absolutely. All right, thanks. For, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying the Bernie Sanders uh, uh, experience. I hope he runs. I mean, I mean, and I hope he wins. Over, but she's not going to let him win for one reason. If you listen to the following soundbite, I can tell you right now, this woman is not letting him get away with it. Listen to her. I don't feel it. no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. No, I don't think so either. So she's definitely put there by God to be the first woman president. And, uh... You know, no guy like him is going to know, no, no guy like him is going to stand in the way. It's going to exploding knish, nothing. I, something's going to happen. He better, he better tone it down, I think. I think he's doing a little too good there in the in the polls. That's all. If I give Bernie a little advice, it'd be A, don't jog in Marcy Park, number one. B, watch out for knishes given to you by followers. C, uh, don't accept bagels from bakers who love you. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. I would hope and I believe that every person in this room today understands that it is unacceptable to judge wow. people, to discriminate against people wow. based on the color of their skin. And wow. I would also say Nobel Prize that as a nation, the truth is, that a nation which in many ways was created, and I'm sorry to have to say this from way back, sure. on racist principles. That's a fact. You, you, that's how a low life like you could get this far. It's such a racist nation that a person of you, your low caliber could get this far. That's how racist the nation is. They tolerate a vermin like you. So on Friday I did a show, there's a retrovirus in the White House, and the article was written up over the weekend on World Net Daily. It's a fabulous piece from World Net Daily. It's on my website, it's on World Net Daily. And my, my, my summary point was, is that there's a retrovirus in the White House, and it wasn't the 60s that destroyed America. And I keep saying, we keep hearing the 60s were bad. They say the hippie movement destroyed America. But I wanna tell you the 60s weren't all bad. And I talked about what I was watching on my home movies and how beautiful the 60s really were. And I said, there's nothing wrong with being a free spirit. It was that free spirits are more easily manipulated than rigid spirits, and that's how Marxists invent, in, invaded the country to such an extent that we have Barack Obama and Bernie Sanders, for example. And now uh, it's mainstream. The virus has mainstreamed itself. The retrovirus of Marxism invaded, uh, using reverse transcriptase on us with Barack Obama, who used racism and the fear of being called a racist. See, that was his reverse transcriptase. Remember I was trying to say to you what was the reverse transcriptase he used, the enzyme? The enzyme was the fear of being called a racist. So now his Marxist viewpoint has poisoned the entire nation. The whole Democrat party is poisoned. Half the Republican party are more poisoned. And now along comes this, this toxic principle, Bernie Sanders, with the hateful anti-Americanism. So what I'm gonna do now for you, if you missed the Friday show, is play a little bit, a snippet of what I did on Friday where I had a new, a new zenith in talk radio right now on the Savage Nation. You see, the 60s were not all bad. It enabled millions of us, including many of my listeners, to become free of spirits. The communists entered our spirits just as retroviruses infect humans, causing the common cold and AIDS, for example. And today we have a retrovirus in the White House named Barack Obama. He has infected the body politic with his hateful, anti-American views, and invaded many other cells or people with his nation-destructive ideas. A retrovirus is a very, very fascinating organism. It's a virus that uses RNA, ribonucleic acid, as its genetic material. Now, most of our cells are made up of DNA. And when a retrovirus infects a cell, 
it makes a DNA copy of its own genome. And then it inserts itself into the DNA of the host cell that it invaded. And it starts to trick the cell that it invaded into thinking that that's what it is. And it causes diseases such as some forms of cancer, AIDS, common cold. So what is a retrovirus? It's a type of virus that has RNA instead of DNA as its genetic material. And it uses an enzyme called reverse transcriptase to become part of the cells that it invades, becoming like the new cell. And this then allows many copies of the virus to be made in the host cells. Does that sound like what Obama has done to this country? That's exactly what he's done. The entire Democrat Party has been invaded and infected by him. Not all of them were like this originally. Not all of them were like this even seven years ago. Some of them had a scintilla of patriotism and a scintilla of sanity. Today, the entire Democrat Party has been invaded by the retrovirus called Barack Obama, who has infected them with his worldview that is so crazy, they don't even know what they're doing because they are just like him now. They yak and yak and yak and repeat what he tells them to say to the detriment of the United States. And of course, the same goes for a good portion of the Republican Party. It goes for 99% of the press corps. 99, maybe more percent, are also infected by the retrovirus of liberalism or communism, whichever way you want to put it. And here's the bad news about Obama and what he's done to this country and the world. It is very difficult to detect the virus until it has infected the host. But at that point, the infection will persist indefinitely. So many of you think that this can be reversed easily. But this infection that Obama has injected into the body politic may persist indefinitely, and you may have to learn to live with it. You may have to learn to live with an infected political system. He has destroyed it possibly forever. I know many of you think that you can turn it around. Good, keep thinking it, keep working for it. God bless you. But I know a little bit about immunology, and I know a little bit about politics, and when you combine my knowledge of immunology with politics, it's uh, prognosis pretty poor. Old Doc Savage says prognosis is pretty poor, and the evidence is, uh, is pretty clear. Evidence by the Boehner-McConnell infection, the, I mean, they've been infected, haven't they? Haven't most Republicans been infected by Obama's uh, retrovirus? Hasn't he infected them, injected them with his political insanities. Now he wants to bring into this country at least 10,000, maybe 100,000 Muslims from Syria with no vetting. If this is not insanity and impeachable, tell me what is. Immediate impeachable. I don't want to hear about voting anymore. What does that mean? He knows how to manipulate the votes. But an impeachment hearing, although would not succeed, would expose the retrovirus for what he is. And it would stop the spread of the virus as sure as you are listening to this program. Impeach him now. Savage. All right, Savage is back now. Savage is back now. You heard the retrovirus in the White House. The 60s were not all beard. Obama's a political retrovirus. I'm on my website now, michaelsavage.com. Putin touts Jewish values in Rosh Hashanah message. It's a nice, nice, very nice. Thank you very much. It's nice of you. Very good. Let's see. Topless protesters disrupt Muslim conference on women. Go, girls, go. Show those throwbacks, those medieval throwbacks, what they're missing. They beat their women. They have a conference on whether it's okay to beat women. In Paris, you hear this? And the men don't have the nerve to stand up to these fanatics who invaded their country. Another white cop executed by a black male. Oh, I'm sorry. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't mean to read that to you. Sorry. Another traffic stop gone awry. Cops' lives matters. YouGov poll. 29% of Americans would support a military coup. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Let's see. Braces? Dry brain. Germany's refugee crisis out of control sends riot police. The only thing that can save Germany is the right wing. If the right wing doesn't seize control of that government, there'll be no Germany anymore. It'll be over. Skyrocketing rates of murder and rape in San Francisco. Really? Huh? Who would have thought? I never would have thought that. It's such a peaceful, loving city. From I am Caitlin to I am Meg Megan. Oh, that's on my website still. 
how Fox News went over to the Dems. 